Welcome to My Long Island TV. From Manhasset to Montauk, we have traveled our communities to bring you the following events. I'm your host, Waldo Cabrera. My Long Island TV starts now. Well, we'd like to welcome you to the Mulford Farm here in the heart of Colonial East Hampton is one of the oldest farmhouses, English cottage gardens in the East End. It was originally built in 1680. In 1711, it was bought by the Mulford family and was in the Mulford family for many generations until the Historical Society took it over about, oh, about 60, 70 years ago. The Mulfords were a part of the triangle trade, so they sold anything from uh, onions to Bermuda, and uh, they were part of bringing uh, rum here, and they were in the whaling industry, and some of the Mulfords were weavers, and some of them were cord swains. If you don't know what a cord swain is, it's an early term for a shoemaker. So they did a little bit of everything. Uh, the house is in its original location. The barn is in its original location. My docent Sarah and I are quite enthralled with the flowers of the 18th century, what locals would have used here to grow as food and medicine and dyeing herbs. But we find it so enchanting. We've given it a Gaelic name called Shahalian. We're in the oldest part of the house that was built in about 1680. This was built for our local magistrate. And one thing we do have is a beautiful corner cupboard with some 18th century import china. What we love about this is that you can actually see this beautiful hand painting on the china and it's still intact. And here's our lovely Dose and Sarah next to our beautiful hearth here in the Mumford Farm and next to our beehive oven. Basically, you would start quite a few logs of wood in there and get it hot early in the morning and start your, your basic meat or bread. Here we are standing in front of our 18th century Long Island loom. You can tell it's a Long Island loom because it's rectangular and most other looms that were made in New York were square. It is actually a working loom and it's unbelievable that we have it. It's just a treasure here at the Mulford Farm. We also have this beautiful 18th century tea brick. It looks like a tile. We can still smell it. It smells like almost like an Earl Grey tea, but it's the fermented leaves of tea that were pressed together for export. And if we turn it over, we can see the score lines where it was broken up for either cooking or you could use it as trade money because tea was so very, very valuable. And here's our beautiful Sarah going about her work day. And this is laundry day. We take our, our linens and we use handmade soap. We scrub every stain by hand and use our, our wooden scrub board. The East Hampton Historical Society has done a remarkable job preserving the history here. We host everything from weddings and garden parties to colonial militias and children's programs. You'd be doing yourself a grave disservice if you don't come to visit the Mulford Farm in beautiful, historic East Hampton, New York. <laughs> 